Hello everyone, welcome back to a new series. I'm going to be playing, um, I, since I decided I was going to theme my channel on science fiction games and stuff, I'd be hard pressed to, uh, uh not hard pressed, it'd be a disservice for me to ignore some of, one of my favorite science fiction franchises of all times. It's second to, uh, it, well, it's one of my top favorites, right? It's X4 is uh, still my favorite, but Homeworld, but I decided I'm going to play them. Rather than playing them in order of release, so Homeworld, Homeworld Cataclysm, Homeworld 2, well, Homeworld Emergence now, Homeworld 2, and then Homeworld Desert Square. And we're going to do them in chronological order, so we're going to start with Distance of Karak, and then we're going to move into the actual space version games. And, actually, this is just in time, because their Homeworld 3 is currently in development. I haven't been following it, just because I've, I don't like getting hyped up for things, especially with the, uh, with the amount of disappointment people have been getting lately, so I've just been... Listening to see if it gets cancelled, but that's basically all I've been paying attention to. I've seen a few trailers, but that's about it. So, we are going to jump into the campaign. Oh, right. I've previously played this game before. Alright, I jumped down because I uh, chickened down and started playing easy. So, uh, we're going to try this again. I don't need the orders. We're just going to try going through on normal, and we're going to try uh, getting these last three mi five missions. That's kind of embarrassing, actually, seeing that right there, but we'll, I'll make up for it on camera, hopefully. So... Let's start with Epsilon Base. Amita Sakala, Akalon, Kapisi, and Fiskir, I think, are the houses, are the, um, uh, houses, I think, is the appropriate term. We'll get, have it probably corrected in a minute. I think this starts us off on a cutscene, so. I'm not sure how, well. I can always suggest myself. Oh, I should uh, change that, actually. Well, we'll see how it goes. Come on, load. Um, in future levels, I won't be, uh... I won't be showing the loading screen. Cutscene time. Shh. Our planet... is dying. The desert grows with every passing year. The world is at war. But there is hope. An object has been detected deep within the Great Banded Desert. It has been called the Jiraki Object, the primary anomaly. We believe it may hold the key to our salvation. An expedition to retrieve it is being prepared. I have to say, that thing looks like so much fun to drive. Also, I can't imagine... I'm in the middle of a heat wave when I'm recording this right now in my area, and I cannot imagine doing what she just did, just kind of casually sitting out in the desert. Sure, if the evening and it's starting to cool down, but it's still the desert. The desert. Anyways, people are talking. Rachel, we need that control module hooked up before we launch, and we don't have a lot of time. Understood. Clearance to approach? You're clear. Gate 5. Rachel, Galcian attacks have been launched against multiple coalition bases. The northern frontier is under attack. The launch 
But I was able to control these units as you probably saw. Go for carrier. Did that work? Oh, there it goes. Send orders. Salvager online. Stand by to commence resource test. Pull up. Order the salvager to gather nearby resources located here. That guy just clipped into the building. Uh, uh, one thing that intro cutscene did was actually kind of really set the sense of scale for this, didn't it? Because Karen, that thing drove over Karen, and it looks kind of tiny here, but in actuality, that thing is massive. Repairs completed. Good work, Rachel. Stand by for combat test. In order to produce combat vehicles, we will need to invest time and resources in upgrading our tech. The first step is to upgrade the Capici's advanced manufacturing facilities. Once that is done, we will be able to build light attack vehicles. Capici, go ahead. Research completed. Light attack vehicle fabrication now online. Carrier here. Produce three light attack vehicles from the Capici. And where are these target drones I am supposed to be destroying? Light attack vehicle online. Light attack vehicle in service. Light attack vehicles ready. Target drones are now ready for weapons testing. Group one. Of Use the light attack vehicles to target and destroy the drone there. located here. Come on, guys, open fire. Strike copy. 
Oh, it automatically did that. Okay, they automatically did that the next one. Receiving. Got eyes on hostile. We're moving up. All required tests are complete. Give me a go, no go for launch. Operations? Stealth. Bridge? Go. Rachel? Science team's in place. We're go. Engineering? Go. Confirm all systems go. Jet Carrier Capisi, we are go for launch. Launch command confirmed. Understood. Prepare to open out strike doors. responding. Fire Roger, all charging to guard. Is engage locks. Ah, uh, yeah. Outer doors opening. Mass ratio be in line. Tracking solved. Doors at 50%. Looking good. Bring engines to speed and move out. Man, Our that thing is massive. And secure. She's all yours, Captain. All stations, this is your captain. Today we embark on a historic mission to find object. Lying at the heart of the Great Bandit Desert, deep inside Galcian territory, we believe it holds the key to our survival on this planet. The journey will be perilous, but if successful, we will change the course of history forever and secure our future for generations to come. I have to say, this is a beautiful planet. Mission carry log, science officer Rachel Sajet. Expedition Carrier Capisi. We've launched three months ahead of schedule and just in time. The Gaussian threat was far greater than we had anticipated. As the lead scientist on this expedition, I'm more convinced than ever that my brother was right. That what lies out there amongst the dunes holds the key to our survival on this planet and possibly beyond. We have no choice now but to believe. Hey, expedition carries Capisi away. No contact with Galician forces. Confirm rendezvous order with Lander 607 at the Boneyard for receipt receipt of sensor module. Okay. Temperature 30 degrees Celsius. That's about what I'm actually experiencing here in the middle of the heat wave. A little higher, I think. Let me check. Uh, it is currently 33 degrees in my <laughs> where I'm living. Oh wow. Okay, so uh, it's hotter than a desert. <laughs> that, well, that than that desert where I am. As we get south, it's going to get as we get south in the game, it's going to get exceedingly warmer. Ugh. Loading for the boneyard. I guess I I spoke too soon about not using loading screens. This episode's only been ten minutes long. I'm going to keep going. Um, something actually that just occurred to me though is playing this game first will hopefully make a certain level in Homeworld One a little more touching. I guess would be the word to use. Oh, loading screen's done. We have successfully entered the open desert and are safe. For you now, don't say that. Leaving, we received this Gaussian transmission. Attention, Kithid of the North. I am Kagan of the Kith Gaussian, servant of the mighty Kahan Sajuk. For generations, you have violated the first commandment of our Creator by entering into space. You seek the stars. Now you invade our lands for the second time. Diplomacy has failed. We can tolerate this no longer. The suffering of this war will be nothing compared to the wrath of Sajuk. Long live the people of Karak. We are now behind enemy lines. A Sajet lander carrying with it our sensors manager will rendezvous with us at the Boneyard a salvage facility to the east. At the Boneyard, we will install the sensors manager, gather additional resources and expedition vehicles before moving out and proceeding to our designated target. The fate of the expedition, and possibly the North itself, now rests on us. No pressure. 
never any pressure in this series whatsoever. Boneyard Control, this is Capisi. Request immediate clearance to dock. Copy, Capisi. We've been waiting for your arrival. You're cleared to dock. Cruiser standing by. I have to say one thing about the, um, the, uh, the people's character. Oh. 607 is wheeled down and prepping cargo for unload. Roger that. Lowering module. Contact. Releasing clamp. Sensors manager coming online. The Capisi's desert refit is underway. While that happens, we need to gather as many resources as possible and reactivate retired units to bolster our fleet. Intelligence indicates Galsian forces are inbound on our location. We don't have long before they arrive. Rachel, you and the support cruiser need to reactivate the decommissioned units using your repair beams. Copy that, Intel. Maintenance personnel to stations. Ration. you. Karen, you're that faster. Uh, Ra not Ra Karen. Rachel, you're faster. Go to the farther back. unit. The storm to the south is growing in intensity and has turned our way. Ready. Oh, did I not activate you? Yeah. Identified. Proceed to site. Reading you. Get that unit back online. Move. We just received a transmission from Northern Command. They have confirmed that multiple coalition bases have fallen. Delta, Juno, and Alpha. Here is under siege. It appears a Sedim carrier, the Sakala, also managed to escape. We are to rendezvous with her and continue on with the expedition at all costs. Additional groups of contacts detected and closing in. Perimeter turrets engaging enemy units. Keep those Galsian forces away from the Capisi and continue to gather resources and units until departure. Be advised, Class 5 Sandstorm detected on approach. Go for armor. Control Group 2 designated. On our way. This is Rachel, go ahead. Move order confirmed. Let us build something. Make ready. Alert, Oops. sensor post lost. And nothing Reading. to research now. Light attack vehicle Watch in service. They come loose. One of our turrets is taking off. fire. We've detected something. Can you confirm visual? Ready for command. Green line confirmed. Salvager copies. Display to that scene. Light attack vehicle online. Is that all the light attack vehicles I built? Strike responding. Alert, turn uh, nope, away. still one more, I think. Ready, yeah. Oh, that's just all. They're just not Ready. all on camera. There we go. That's all. Control group one designated. On Standing by. New coordinates. Verified. Armor vehicle taking effective fire. Receiving. Hostile strike craft down. CU's exit. The Galsian attacks will continue. We require additional forces. We do not have a sufficient number of LAVs. Collect more CUs and build more LAVs immediately. I've already built some light a a LAVs, you uh, guy not paying attention. Friendly interceptors crossing our airspace. Check your fire. Where is this other CU unit I saw? Oh, how many? Oh, okay. How many salvagers are currently in use is what that's meaning. Assignments. I don't want any materials coming off. Inbound friendly contacts detected. Possible survivors from Epsilon or nearby bases. I hope they make it. 
We're gonna need all the help we can get. Lead it. Send order. Enemy light attack vehicle marked on approach. Armored vehicle is taking fire. Allied armor assault vehicles entering your area. Taking hit. We need immediate assistance. Be advised. Allied armored assault vehicles are deploying smoke screens to break enemy line of sight. All right. Let's send our LAVs. Copy. We're clear to engage. Strike craft destroy defensive guard for that armor. And I'll send Rachel out there as well. Repair their critical systems first. Be advised. Tracking hostile. Oh, Rachel's Runner. not going to need Move to go out. there. Is there. Oh. Arm warning. Storm front arrival in approximately seven minutes. Is it ready? We've Galsian heavy railgun spotted. It will have difficulty targeting our units at short range. Our LAV's inherent speed and quick boost ability will allow them to close on enemy units quickly. Use this to gain the advantage. Down. Copies. A second flight of friendly interceptors is passing through. Keep your crosshairs low. I'll strike craft down. All right, the heavy railgun is We're gone. Clear. Transferring to your control. Rain. Allied units acquired. The more we save, the stronger we'll be as we enter the desert. Alert, turret post destroyed. Hostile light attack vehicle, visually authenticated. Coordinates confirmed. Engaging Hostile railgun smoke. We need to improve unit combat performance. Access engineering to select upgrades. New upgrade options to improve our light attack vehicles are currently available. We recommend improving unit survivability by investing in engineering upgrades. Reading. Copy. Skimmers on the board. Ready. Fire Those guys need to fall back and save their health. Light attack vehicle enhancements online. Armor vehicle taking Over effective issue. fire. Hostile contacts are being tracked. Ready. Coordinate tracks. Where you are locked down. Ready. Strike copies. We've got hostile on sensors. In confirmed visual. Run circles around. All out. Target locked. Storm is closing on us fast. Five minutes until storm front impact. Hostile strike craft down. Light attack vehicle is under fire. We're up and running. Are we taking any ready. casualties? No, we have not. Oh, some of my Any LADs have leveled up. Marked on approach. Reading. We have a target. Ready. Enemy railgun firing on friendly. Armored vehicle is taking fire. Receiving. And you should boost. Get us over there. Ready. Smoke screen. Copy. Move. Receiving. Strike craft destroyed. Confirmed. Come on. Ah, yes, they got Rachel in the support vehicle in time. There we go. Casualties yet? Nope. Designating hostile. Stormfront arrival. 
arrival in approximately three minutes. We're running out of time. Signed. So we're not doing too bad. No casualties no yet. Ooh, boost recharge. Ah, I don't want to waste my resources quite yet. Armor online. Armor moving out. Ready for assignment. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Hostile light attack vehicle visually authenticated. Can't wait till I get aircraft. Boneyard, Capisi. Allied armor group on approach. We're under fire and need immediate support. Move and fire at will. Hostile railgun arm opened up. Two minutes until that storm hits. Boneyard staff transferring aboard. Strike craft destroyed. Unit secured. Oh, we lost one light attack vehicle. Enemy real gun and eliminate. Overdrive, punch it. Punch it. We gotta go. Off ready. Reading for orders. Control group two designated. One of our turrets is taking fire. I lost one Our LAV, that's fine. Fire. Stormfront arrival in one minute. All crews, prepare the Capisi to move out. Capisi is ready for immediate egress. Just ground units. Eliminate remaining Gaussian forces and prepare for departure. Detected. Underway. Be ready for contact. Strike craft taking effective fire. Sand skimmer unlocked. Rip them apart. Anyone's going no more casualties, I don't think. Oh. Reading. Fire out. Hit it. Ready. Point back. Track off the strike craft down. Alert. Light attack vehicle destroyed. Keep moving on. This is fire. Armored vehicle has been destroyed. Take straight shot. Go. Go for orders. Receiving. Oh. Full speed. Oh crap, I just lost all my LEVs. This is the captain. Armor vehicle taking effective fire. Keep the speed up! Coordinates confirmed. Target designated. Fire as well. Tracking hostile. Hostile railgun. Open up. And that will do the trick, it looks like. Strike craft destroyed. All Gaussian forces have been eliminated. Also, awesome. stormfront arrival imminent. All right, bring engines to full and move out. And that's that for this level. So I'm going to have to be more careful with my LEVs. 300 kilometers per hour. Copy that. Engaging full shutters. Expect impact on my mark. In three, two, one. Mark. Uh, oh, as I was saying near the beginning of this episode, uh, not this episode, this level, um, the uh, survivor... Personal log. Intelligence officer Nathan Sajet. Expedition carrier Capisi. Our refit is mostly complete, and we're now headed for open desert. Several coalition units were able to link up with us and have joined our ranks. To the north, Gaussian forces are laying siege to our homes. There's no going back. The expedition must carry on. It's hard to believe it's been four years since our satellites detected the Jiraki object. That massive anomaly deep in the uncharted desert 
its energy readings rivaling our planet's sun. Rachel thinks it could be the source of the new Gaussian technology. Only time will tell. Anyways, as I was trying to say, I was trying to say a couple times this episode, the people of Carrick definitely don't build things small. The mothership is big, the expedition carrier is big, and that's going to be it for this episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.